Salt and chilli wings from Tesco. Slow cooked chicken wings. What did Tesco say? Every little helps. Well, never a true word spoken, eh, Tesco? Watch and find out what I mean. Welcome back. Food review time again. Um, now, I can't say these, uh, well, I've not tried them, I might say to them on the plate, well, but heat wise, as the title says, salt and chili chicken wings. Now, I like salt and chili chips from the Chinese. Love them. It's hot today. Um, so, we're doing Tesco salt and chili chicken wings. It does say mild, so they're aiming for flavour over heat. I do wish Tesco would do some more really hot stuff, like Morrison's do, uh, Iceland do. Just whack some Carolina Reaper on some there and they'll see how quick it sells. That's what these are. Salt and chilli, chicken wings, slow cooked, succulent wings in a barbecue rub with a salted chilli sprinkle. There you go. I'm just wondering whether you actually put that on yourself or if it's already on them. I don't know. Uh, quick ingredients, everything you'd expect, all the extras, additives you'd expect, uh, and it just says salt chilli sprinkle. So, yes you do, you get a separate pouch with the um, salt and the chilli in. Uh, they take 15 minutes from chilled, no they don't. They take 25 minutes, it says on the front. Uh, it's 15 minutes and then you drain any liquid that's collected in the foil, so I assume they come in a foil tray. No, they don't. Hmm, that's strange. It does look like you get about four in it. Um, don't know. And there's the salt and chilli sprinkle sachet that you get with it. So, um, remove from oven. Discard foil and any cooking juices and return to the oven uncovered to crisp the skin. Ah, yeah, see. Um, so what you have to do is transfer all of that to an oven proof dish and cover with foil. That's so it doesn't burn it at the start of the cooking. Uh, place in the centre of a preheated oven, 15 minutes, remove the foil and drain any juices off and then put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes to let them crisp up. And then remove from the oven and sprinkle that over. We shall be back shortly. So uh, that's what they look like. Now I have got a couple of points for this. Mm. Sprinkled all the packet on. There's quite a lot in the packet, uh, and I am going to turn them and dip them in the salt and chili to get all the flavour in. Now first off. See down there, that's not just a few for me to try, that is it, that's all you get in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they're not even full wings, they're just piddly little bits. You've got one, two, three, four of them, one small wing, one complete wing. So, four, five, six, six bits of chicken in there. Now, bear in mind how small they are, you can double up on them for one wing normally. So you can basically say four, four bits of chicken. Uh, decent sized wings, that would make four of. For £2.50. Uh, is it any wonder people go to Iceland? For £2.50 you'll get a bag of about a dozen or more spicy chicken wings that taste really nice from Iceland. And people knock Iceland. And Iceland's would be hot as well. I know these don't claim to be hot, but £2.50 for what is in effect 
is you put them as decent sized chicken wings for and then it says on there packaging reduced by 20% mmm you could have reduced it by 50% Tesco's for how much chicken was in it because it nowhere near filled the box anyway so don't bang on about saving packaging when you still use half as much as what you need if that makes sense £2.50 for that Iceland here we come hey right moaning done uh, I did leave them a bit longer and the snake crushed up but that's the, the negative points now let's see what they taste like mm, not bad uh, there's a lot of salt and chilli seasoning that you get a hell of a lot for how many wings are in it what if I just got a dodgy box and they haven't got enough in but they're actually vacuum packed. Taste wise, they're not bad. Not bad. So, chicken, not bad. But not enough of it. Um, Flavour is nice. Just a slight bit of chilli there. Um, obviously, the salt's coming through as well. So, what do I think? You do have to like the salt because the salt is the, it, it, that comes through more than the chilli for me. The chilli's there, it's a background flavour, and I think it's just chilli flakes have got on it. But there is a bit of heat there, not a lot, not a lot. And the salt does come through. It's a nice flavour. I mean, the chicken's coated anyway before you put the packet on the uh, seasoning, so it has got some flavour there anyway to start with. So. Taste wise, they're nice. Um, they get a thumbs up on the taste. <sighs> Overall wise, value for money, they get a thumbs down straight away. Five chicken wings. Four large chicken wings equivalent. What, five or six they give you, because they give these big little things. Um, for £2.50. Uh, price wise, go up Iceland and get a bag full. You can tell they're nicer because I'm still eating them. Um, so, yeah, taste wise, thumbs up. A mucky thumbs up. I'm going to wipe it. A mucky thumbs up. Value wise, thumbs down. Not enough in there for £2.50. Yeah, I'm tight, but come on. You can get a big bag of Iceland for less than that. Uh, and you'll get up to 20 chicken wings in it. You get four or five here. These are not frozen by the way, they're in the, the fridge department. Um, for what it says on the box, succulent wings and a barbecue rub. Well, that's the flavouring that I said is already on. Uh, and a salt chilli sprinkle. Yeah, thumbs up for the description. Tastes like what it all oh, uh. But I just can't get over that how many you get you don't get much bang for your butt no way it's just I couldn't believe it when I opened it but what that many or well, not that many for £2.50 and then they're bragging about reducing the packaging by 20% that's probably because you've knocked 20% of the chicken wings out of the box so you can make a smaller box, but then you still didn't make the box small enough because you could have done half of that size for what's in it. Who's tight then, eh? Uh, but I know a lot of you are the same. You like your icing stuff. Icing is hot when it says, and you get a lot for your money. This is just not enough. Um, but that's by the by. Mm. They are nice tasting. Would I buy them again? No, because I'm tight and I want more than just four or five chicken wings for £2.50 and I would imagine you do too it's not M&S, it's Tesco I could imagine M&S giving you three or four for a fiver three or four chicken wings for a fiver well that's M&S, this is Tesco now if you want to try them, try them because they are nice tasting but you've been pretty warm don't want to open the box and think oh, three or four of us having tea tonight we'll get a box of them and share them well, you ain't doing it, you might not have enough for all of you, even if there's only three of you. 
Um, and that's only if you want to try one. And then you'll have to fill up on something else. So just be warned, you don't get many, but they are nice. So I'll give it a thumbs up and a down. Thumbs up and a down. Taste wise, quantity wise, and value for money gets that. Taste wise, that. Pick the bones out of that. <laughs> Pick the bones out of that. Right, we're done on that one. Um, they do other flavours as well, quite a few flavours. So go and check them out if you fancy it. Uh, you won't be disappointed on taste, but you will be when you open the box and see what's in it. Good on that. See you later.